Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Defub21, and yes, it's another day, it's another video game trailer. This is the reveal trailer, I believe, yes, reveal trailer, for a game by the name of Dead Cells. It's uh, called, well, it's just the reveal trailer, it's nothing else. Uh, I don't know anything else about this, uh, I just picked it off and downloaded it from one of the uh, websites I... Uh, I uh, peruse. So, uh, without any uh, further ado, uh, let's take a look and then I shall uh, let you know uh, what I think. Well, uh, that certainly looked rather uh, visually, uh, uh, certainly looked very good, very good animations, very good kind of effects. But again, as I've said in uh, previous uh, trailer reviews, it's for a side-scrolling, retro-style graphics, uh, side-scrolling, platforming uh, game. And there have been a lot of those um, over the last couple of years. Um, I, you know, all all you know they're they appear to be on steam green light are going to be on steam green light soon to hopefully get on to steam and compared to and hopefully hopefully they i are they you know if if that trailer is representative of what the game looks like uh, if nothing else irrespective of the gameplay they certainly deserve to get on it uh, certainly by the standard set by steam green light where quite frankly there's an awful lot of dreck that's been able to get through Steam, uh, Steam Greenlight, and onto Steam that really, really shouldn't have. Um, and I'm, a, I hope, uh, if considering how sort of poor standards are, in terms of the kind of quality of the games, or even the kind of the build quality of the games that that Valve is allowing onto Steam via Greenlight, then this should certainly be a shoe in to 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 get on to get through Greenlight, and get onto Steam because it certainly looks. Again, if it's actually if that's representative of gameplay, and we can assume it is, it looks like an awful lot more talent, blood, sweat, and tears has been poured into it than an awful, awful lot of the games that have gone through Steam Greenlight onto Steam, even in the last twelve months, let alone the last couple of years since uh, Steam Greenlight became a thing. Uh, again, however, as I get back to the, my original point, it's a side-scrolling platformer game. Maybe it's really, really good. But there have been so many of them that have been made over the last couple of years. And they do kind of, you know, you know, how do you stand out from the crowd? You know, how do you, you know, it's, you know, all credit to them. You know, it's, you know, it, 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 it looks like they've certainly put some work in. They've got some talent of just the graphics or anything to go by. But again, I and then fingers crossed for them and they should get through green, Steam Greenlight. But, you know, standing out in the crowd of all those sides, you know, sc scrolling platformers, whether they be, you know, whether they have ranged combat in them or not, or side scrolling shooters for that matter. Um, uh, and again, and then standing out from the crowd of all the hordes of, well, they should be able to stand out of the crowds, uh, stand out from the crowd and among the uh, Steam Greenlight hordes, because so many of the Steam Greenlight hordes are utter dreck. That should never be allowed onto the Steam store whatsoever, and that game purely, pure, well, clearly uh, stands out for its, uh, you know, if again, if that is representative of gameplay, uh, clearly stands out in terms of the quality of the visuals. But again, in terms of the kind of the genre of game, there's been an awful, awful, awful lot of them released over the last couple of years, and how you stand out from the crowd. You know, again, there's, there's clearly must be a demand for these kind of games because uh, people keep buying, people keep playing them, people keep making them. But I must imagine that for every you know one out that that's out there that that's a success, there must be at least two or three that are genuinely good, or maybe even very good games, who you know due to a lack of you know success on the PR front or 
various other factors just not getting enough attention or enough uh, put on them on on the steam store when they're released uh just you know disappear into uh disappear into what's the word for it not infamy not into obscurity that's it now hopefully uh, fingers crossed for the makers of this game that won't be the case and i wish them all the best of luck but again again considering what's the stuff that steam greenlight gets through steam greenlight successfully i would certainly imagine that this most definitely will because it looks like you know it looks like it's been well made and the effort and the talent has been put in but once it's on the steam store again with all the crap and with a lot of other very good side scrolling games of one kind or another one kind or another out there uh whether they'll be successful or not i don't know fingers crossed for them but uh mm, it's a difficult market out there for those kind of things it certainly seems that way from my standpoint anyway uh if you uh enjoyed this video actually well if you enjoyed this video uh please like it uh if you've uh would like to let me know your thoughts on either this particular trailer side scrolling uh games of one kind or another in general or even your thoughts on the uh good or bads or the uh positive or negatives of steam green light also feel well feel free to let me know in the comments and as i said already if you uh, like this video please like it and if you haven't already subscribed to this wondrous channel for more content like this please do so this is defub21 uh, signing off toodaloo